Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Khunbal. Now I am going to teach uh, functional mathematics and topic is accumulation functions and amount function. First question we have given that a k t is 1000 over 100 minus t for t greater than or equal to 0 less than 100 find k and a of 20 is a uh, amount function at time 20 and k, k is a uh, investment or we can say principal amount so we have to uh, calculate k and a of 20 this is our target and we have given a k t is equal to 1000 divided by 100 minus t uh, we know a of 0 always 1 you know why a k t we have formula uh, between m on function and accumulation function if you plug in at uh, time 0 you know at time 0 your investment you know always you know the like amount value right so uh, we can understand in this way this is like a uh, theoretical you know at, at the initial time your amount which uh, that is a principal amount always your principal amount and we can understand this way a t is this is accumulation function and for uh, simple interest this is accumulation function for for compound interest is 1 plus s power t if we plug in here time 0 you see here 1 plus 0 times s is 1 and 1 plus s power 0 is uh, always 1 you can understand like this way so we use this property a 0 is 1 and we plug in here a k we don't know k is a capital uh, uh, principal amount k times a of 0 and uh, I'm sorry it's a we should plug in t is equal to 0 a k 0 is uh, k times of a o 0 is 1 ok so it means uh, a k is equal to a k 0 so uh, a k 0 we plug in here time 0 here is 1000 divided by 100 minus 0 which is equal to 1000 divided by 100 this is 10 so this is our first requirement and second uh, thing we have to call a20 so we know again we use the same form a k t is equal to k times a t a uh, k we know we find right now uh, we have known right now k is 10 time is uh, 20 we actually we are going to calculate for a20 so we plug in t is equal to 20 and then k times a t k is 10 we plug in here and a t in a, a of 20 a 10 20 we just here plug in and formula and just a 10 just we plug in t is equal to 20 uh, just like a thousand divided by 100 minus 20 a k a 10 20 is 1000 divided by 80 right so if we solve a 10 20 is 1.25 if we solve use calculator uh, I'm sorry no 12.5 and then and actually we have to calculate a20 so a20 is equal to a10 20 divided by 20 divided by 10 a20 is equal to 12.5 divided by 10 is is equal to 1.25 is the answer so now we move uh, in uh, for next question. Next question is if you invest two thousand dollar at time zero, what does it mean at time zero? 
Again, uh, a k t is equal to k times a t. You know, at time zero, at, at t is equal to zero, a k zero is equal to k times a of zero. We know a of zero is one, always one. a k zero is equal to k, and we have given if you invest two thousand dollar, so. The investing to the amount so this is our K2000 and we have another things we have given a combination function AT is equal to 1 plus 0 0.04 T AT is equal to 1 plus 0 0.04 T so now we have to compute uh, how much will you have at time 5. So how much amount is mean AK at 5 means uh, fifth year after 5 years uh, AK, uh, AK 5 is K times A 5. So we have, uh, we have given AT is uh, 1 plus 0 0.040. Just we plug in t is equal to 5 and then 1 plus 0 0.04 times 5 is um, 1 plus 0 0.2 right and 1 plus 0 0.2 is 1.2 it's uh, right and uh, just we plug in Uh, we plug in here a k k is here is two thousand two thousand five k is two thousand a five a five is one point two and then which uh, one point two times two thousand is two thousand four hundred a twenty two thousand at five this is our required answer. Now we move uh, next question. Third question is this kind of three questions. Suppose that an account is governed by an quadratic accumulation function, which is uh, equal to we have given a t is equal to alpha t square, alpha t square plus zero point zero one times t plus beta. So. Uh, and the interest rate for first year I1 for the first year is 2%. You know, I1 is 2% means 2 divided by 100 is means 0 0.02 I1 is. Okay, and we have to compute find alpha beta. Now we have a required thing is alpha and beta. We have requ required and uh, beta and the interest rate for the fourth year means I4. We have to compute. So uh, we know again we use uh, uh, you know property A01. So in this equation, first equation, we plug in uh, times zero. A0 is equal to alpha 0 square plus 0 0.01 times 0 plus beta. We know A of 0 is 1. We plug in here 1. Uh, alpha times 0 is 0. And again 0. Beta is equal to 1. We have calculated. Now we are going to calculate alpha. So how we can calculate? You know we have second uh, thing is given is I1. I1 is equal to A of 0, sorry, A of 1 minus A of 0 divided by A of 0. Again, uh, I1 is 0 0.0, 0 0.02 is equal to uh, A1, okay, we calculate here A1. A1 is, uh, you know, a1 is alpha 1 square plus 0 0.01 times 1 plus beta is equal to we all just now we calculate beta is 1 and now 
a of 1 is alpha plus 0 0.01 plus 1 a of 1 is uh, alpha plus 1.01 okay so now we plug in here a of 1 is alpha plus 1.01 .01 minus a of 0 is 1 divided by 1 0.02 is equal to alpha 1.01 .01 minus 1 is uh, is 0 0.01 okay divide 1 is no make difference so alpha is equal to 0 0.02 minus 0 0.01 is 0 0.01 so this is uh, other requirements uh, we have fulfilled so actually we have 0 0.01 is the right side and we're moving uh, we take uh, from right to left so we change the sign so 0 0.02 minus 0 0.01 right so that's why the alpha is 0 0.01 so now uh last thing is we have to calculate is interest rate for fourth year so how we can calculate fourth year i4 i4 is equal to a of 4 minus a of 3 divided by a of 3 right so we have accumulation function now a of t is equal to uh, alpha t square alpha uh, we just now we calculate is 0 0.01 0 0.01 times t square plus 0 0.01 times t plus beta is we calculate already calculate beta is 1 plug in here so now we calculate a4 a4 0 0.01 times 4 square plus 0 0.01 times 4 plus 1 a of 4 is equal to a4 is equal to we solve by calculator 1.2 Similarly, A3 is uh, just like 0 0.01 times 3 square plus 0 0.01 times 3 plus 1 and then A3 is 1.12. Now we just plug in here in this equation. Uh, I4 is equal to a4 is 1.2 minus a3 1.12 divided by a3 is 1.12 so i4 is equal to 7.1 percent okay just you know just you know you know if we solve this fraction is 0 0.071 we multiply 100 then we use a percentage percentage means one by hundred. Okay, so now this.